हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू बी फार्मा वाइज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कैलकुलेशन फॉर एक्यूरेसी एंड प्रिसीजन आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द डिटेल्स द बी सिक्स ऑफ एक्यूरेसी एंड प्रिसीजन इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो आई विल लिंक दैट वीडियो इन द आई बटन और इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू प्लीज चेक इट आउट बट टूडे वी विल बी ओनली फोकसिंग ऑन द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट सो एज वी नो एक्यूरेसी मीन्स हाउ क्लोज यूर रिजल्ट इज टू द एक्चुअल वैल्यू और द ट्रू वैल्यू एंड द एक्यूरेसी इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एरर्स नाउ एरर्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट टू टाइप्स ऑफ एरर फर्स्ट एरर विल बी एब्सल्यूट एरर एंड द नेक्स्ट एरर विल बी रिलेटिव एरर ओके एंड देन वॉट इज प्रिसीजन Precision is the reproducibility of results. Means you take multiple uh, readings, and then how close those readings are to each other. That is our precision. And precision is expressed in terms of deviation. So we will be calculating two types of deviation. One, absolute deviation, and second one, relative deviation. So we are going to discuss everything about this today. Uh, first let's learn the formulas so absolute error it is very easy to calculate what is the formula it is observed value minus the true value with regard to sign means we have to keep the sign of the calculation okay then relative error this formula i will give me absolute error if i take absolute error as a percentage of true value means absolute error divided by true value into 100 that percentage will be my relative error okay uh, so first let's discuss an example for this absolute error and relative error then we'll move towards the precision part so let me first take an example suppose i am having um, a sample say a sample of potassium chlorate i have a problem for you i have a sample of 10 g of potassium chlorate and i am going to decompose this sample so after decomposition what i found is it contains 3.8 g of oxygen this is the mass of oxygen obtained experimentally okay so this becomes my observed value now what is the actual mass of oxygen contained in 10 g of potassium chloride i have the value for you it is 3.92 g okay 3.92 g of oxygen is the actual value of oxygen contained in 10 g sample of potassium chloride so this is my true value and this is my observed value so first i will calculate absolute error what it is it is observed value minus true value now my observed value is 3.8 whereas my true value is 3.92 so what i get i get minus 0.12 i get minus 0.12 now why we have to keep the sign the sign the negative sign here indicates that my observed value is less than the true value so if i am getting answer in negative it means my observed value is less than the true value if my answer is positive it means my observed value is more than the true value so this sign is very important so this is absolute error now let's calculate relative error now how we calculate relative error absolute error with respect to true value as a percentage so what is my absolute error you can see here with sign minus 0.12 upon what is the true value 3.92 grams in 200 now if you solve this you'll get the answer i have solved it for you you'll get the answer 3.06 percentage i will keep the sign so this is relative error means my observation is 3.06 percent less than my true value okay so this is how we calculate absolute error and relative error this is for accuracy now let's move towards precision how we are going to uh, you know how we are going to calculate deviations so first 
let me give you an example suppose let's take the same example i have 10 gram potassium chloride sample but what i told you what is precision it is reproducibility of results means we are going to have more than one result we will be having set of measurements why we do carry out such measurements in sets because we want to minimize the errors right so the similar sample the identical sample will be analyzed under the identical set of conditions for multiple times so here i am taking n is equal to 3 means we will take three readings of the same sample under same conditions and then what i will get uh, suppose 10 gram sample i have taken for sample 1 i got the percentage of oxygen i am continuing the last problem so that you will be uh, it will be easy for you to understand so i have this sample three samples identical samples one two three and the amount of oxygen which i am getting after decomposition of the sample is the first value is 3.87 the second value is 3.95 and the third value is 3.89 so these three uh, values i'm having as my set of measurements now what i am about to calculate absolute deviation relative deviation so please pay attention it is very simple but uh, let's make it very simple so this is my set of measurement now what i will do i am having three samples three results so i will take out mean of these results this, these are my observed values this is observed value one this is observed value two this is observed value three now i will take mean of these three observed values so what i will do my reading number one plus my reading number two plus my reading number three hmm? these are my three readings i will sum them up and then divide it by three this is how we calculate the average for the mean reading so when we do so the answer comes 3.90 so 3.90 gram is the mean of my set of measurements okay now what i am going to do is i am going to calculate absolute deviation now absolute deviation the formula is it is the modulus of observed value minus mean of the set of measurements now here you can see we will not consider any sign for this for deviation it is always without regard to sign for errors it is always with regard to sign so absolute deviation for first reading how i will calculate the first reading for uh, uh, absolute deviation the first observed value which is 3.87 minus the mean 3.90 the answer will come 0.03 now here again the answer comes in negative but we won't consider the sign hmm? next for second sample how what, what i will get 3.95 minus 3.90 so the answer will be 0 0.05 for 3.89 minus 3.90 the answer will be 0 0.01 you can easily figure out that i have not considered any signs right okay now i have got absolute deviations with me this is my absolute deviation for first reading this is my absolute deviation for second and the third one now what what i will do i will calculate mean absolute deviation mean absolute deviation so what i will do i will add these three readings and divide it by three so what i will get 0.03 plus 0.05 plus 0 0.01 divided by 3 so it comes 0 0.09 by 3 0 0.03 gram so this is my mean absolute deviation so what we have done so far i'll tell you i have set of readings for a particular measurement the there is three readings there are three readings I have taken mean of those three readings that is my mean now i have calculated absolute deviation for each of the reading and then i have determined the mean absolute deviation of those three absolute deviations now let me tell you how to calculate relative deviation 
रिलेटिव डेविएशन इज नथिंग बट रेशो ऑफ मीन एब्सोल्यूट डेविएशन टू द मीन ऑफ सेट ऑफ रीडिंग्स एक्सप्रेस्ड एज परसेंटेज मीन्स वॉट आई विल नीड आई विल नीड मीन एब्सोल्यूट डेविएशन विच इज दिस वैल्यू सो इट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री देन दैट मीन मीन्स द मीन ऑफ माई ओरिजिनल रीडिंग्स सो इट विल कम थ्री पॉइंट नाइंटी एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड विल गिव मी द परसेंटेज सो इफ आई सॉल्व इट द आंसर कम्स पॉइंट एट परसेंट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माई रिलेटिव डेविएशन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी my absolute deviations this is going to be my mean absolute deviation so now let me briefly revise the formula and what we are going to do see accuracy is expressed in terms of error error will be absolute or relative absolute error is just observed value whatever you have observed experimentally minus the actual value or the true value with regard to psi once you get absolute error just divide it by true value and multiply it with 100 you will get relative error now for precision for precision we calculate for a set of readings so we need multiple readings here i have considered three readings for that then for each reading i will have some value that will be my observed value now what i will do i will add all three readings divide by the number of uh, results or whatever set of measurements you have taken and then i will calculate the mean just like here i have done three readings so i have divided it by 3 so i have got a mean of all the readings then i will calculate individual absolute deviation now absolute deviation how we are going to calculate observed value minus the mean value so for each measurement you will have one absolute deviation value so for example my first reading was 3.87 how much it is deviating from the mean by this value second reading how much is it deviating from the mean by this value so this is how we are going to calculate individual absolute deviation so as there are multiple observations for absolute deviation we will carry out mean of it average of it so what we got is mean absolute deviation by adding three absolute deviations so dividing it by three i got mean absolute deviation now i will calculate relative deviation how mean absolute deviation divided by mean of set of results into 100 so this is my mean absolute deviation i have divided it with the original mean so i have got 0.8% which is my relative deviation i hope you must have understood the concept of uh error and deviation so if yes please don't forget to like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel press the notification bell and keep watching b pharma wise i will see you in the next video till then you take care bye bye